What? Tell them what we've been dealing with today. Yeah, lots of lot hopping, so we figured we'd set a tent up to make it a little more challenging when we get kicked out. Fancy too. Yeah. We've got new helmet today. Rock has dropped the Atlas 2.0. Uh, I just got it in yesterday, super quick shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it up for the first time and uh, let you guys know my first thoughts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I went with the uh, Rock Shuriken, same size, large. Um, Shuriken's like a new color scheme that they're doing. I don't think it's limited, they're gonna have plenty of them. But uh, it's black and gold. Yeah, black and gold is what I wanted is to uh, keep going with the same theme. The cool thing about them, they come with two visors. This one's going to have the dark visor. You guys don't see a tool for the uh, visor, which is cool. stoked about this guys I love swapping out my visors between night and day and uh, it used to be an allen key but now they just have this piece right here you actually just unscrew it and pops right out that's pretty dope you don't have to use any tools anymore I guess the real moment is right there Let's try our own like the same style helmet as the previous one they just improved a lot of things that people um, put in their feedback on the biggest one for me was um, just having this piece right here not having to actually uh, use tools to put it in just take it I want to say you just twist it in there maybe you should probably read the instructions instructions <laughs> here we go on no visor now no visor gang it's got like the emergency pads you just pull them out like a nicer chin chin guard right here every like just little details here and there like this part looks like the trim's slightly different but the biggest thing is like the helmet comes on and off so easy that's amazing i, I couldn't probably even go with a medium now the front of them just looks so nice they're so aggressive looking like yeah. hell yeah all right guys um I'm loving this helmet so far, just trying it on. I'm gonna get my uh, camera set up on it and then do a quick test ride, but it's super loud out here. Uh, of all days to do an unboxing, we're in the middle of a parking lot for uh, Orlando's winter vacation, where like all these people from out of the state come down here to ride with us for a weekend. Um, they're setting up cones right now so we can have a little bit of organization going on. Jump starting FCs and stuff. It's, a, it's definitely going to be a good time, but I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and then we'll, we'll do a first ride with the Atlas 2.0 and see how it runs. Stay tuned. Rookie Rebel on the camp. <laughs>
Alrighty, people, first ride on the Atlas 2.0. This helmet fits super nice. Like, I'm not even saying that. Way better feel than the previous helmet. The previous helmet didn't fit that bad, but putting this thing on and off feels excellent. Uh, the chin is nice and pushed away from your face. Like, your nose and stuff is really far away from the, uh, the front of the helmet, which a lot of people uh, said that they noticed. Let's get to it, people. <laughs> it's so hungover, it's hilarious. <laughs> you had a long night. So I didn't really talk too much while I was doing this video. I was mainly trying to do a review on the helmet, but um, the main thing I liked about this helmet is the fact that once you slide it on, um, it puts you in your own world. The previous helmet was a solid helmet, great starting point for rock. All the feedback that they got from customers really helped them improve this newer helmet with tons of little things and a couple big things as well. Um, the main thing that I like the most is the visor pin that locks in whenever you're um, riding high speeds. Hands down, my favorite part about this helmet has to be the way that you swap out the visors. Previously, you needed the Atlas tool or a set of Allen keys, but this one just takes the two tabs and you pop them right out and you slide your new visor in. And that's crucial for myself if I'm going on a night ride. With higher speed riders, you're really gonna like the uh, locking pin for the visor. Myself, personally, I've done up to 180 miles an hour in the Atlas 1.0 on the Ducati test ride, and I had no issues at all with wind noise or the visor popping up. But if anybody ever had that issue with the visor popping up at higher speeds, this pin makes it super nice as far as not having to worry about that. The main thing that won me over with Rock originally when they dropped their first helmet was the designs. They do such a phenomenal job on the designs. That's personal opinion, but I think it's a really good clash between modern and historical and just a nice hip style that they have. And with the El Diablo and the Beast, for example, I think they've really pushed it to the next level as far as their designs and what they're capable of. And it really shows with the newer line of helmets that they have. When you slide the helmet on, the pads lock you in. You don't have to slide the helmet on from the back or from the front. You just simply put a helmet on like a normal helmet. But once you're locked in, the main thing that I like the most is the fact that it feels like a nice quality helmet and puts you in your zone. You don't have to worry about the outside sounds or anything like that. It literally feels like home when you slide this helmet on. And that's just my personal opinion on it. I've had a great experience with it, riding with it so far. And as a moto vlogger, the biggest thing that I worry about is having a helmet that's locking in too much air and making my audio terrible. If you guys see in the previous videos versus my newest videos, rocking the 2.0, I personally see improvements with my audio, which is really, really nice. And on top of that, just having a nice crispier helmet just makes everything a lot easier. And just to clarify, it's called the Shuriken, not the Shuriken. I didn't know until I went over to the UK and I called it that and they looked at me sideways. The main thing that I was really impressed with with Rock is the fact that they actually listen to their customers. They're very hands-on with it. And um, a lot of brands seem to dwindle away from that customer support and outreach. And um, Ruach has definitely held on to that and really appreciates the feedback that customers give, both positive and negative. Hands down, Ruach takes the cake as far as one of the most affordable, stylish helmets in my opinion. 
But I wanna hear you guys' feedback. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of the new helmet, the new lines. And if you've seen all their helmets, let me know what your favorite model is. That's gonna wrap up my Atlas 2.0 helmet review. Super impressed with the helmet, and I hope you guys are too when they start to hit the market. Huge shout out to Rock for another awesome product that they dropped, and I'm super happy to be a part of it. Um, other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, keep it dank. Later! Yeah, I like to keep it mellow. I smoke and keep it mellow. I drink and keep it mellow.